Hey everyone, Matt and Steph here with Yard Sale Zombie. And today we're just here to do our haul video from the weekend, which we never got to because I have my wisdom teeth pulled on Friday morning. And so, well actually, yeah, I had them pulled Friday morning mm -hmm. and then I actually went to a few estate sales. I went to two estate sales and two thrift stores after the surgery, which was like 1030. So at noon I went to a couple and I felt pretty good. And then Saturday morning, I also felt pretty good. I was a little bit numb, but um, I went out, I was tired and I, I guess I wasn't in the greatest mood because I was a little bit weird mm. from being all medicated up. So I didn't get too much, but we have that stuff here today. And um, so I guess it slowed me down, but not a lot. Also it poured. I was out from about seven in the morning to about noon. And then right in the middle, right at like 9.30 or 10, it downpoured and it, a lot of people closed down their sales after that. And then a lot of the ones that I went to after that, the tables, everything was just soaked. And there was actually like an antique Bible that I wanted to buy, but there was about an inch of water on the table because the table like, um, oh. I didn't tell you this, no. the table was like, you know how tables get like concaved yeah. or whatever. And so it was just sitting in the water and I picked it up and it was like dripping. Uh, and I was like, I'm not even going to mess with this. Um, Cause like the, the more I do this, the more I realize that it's all about condition. Right. You know, it's a big thing. Condition, condition, condition. That's Not what I say to myself. Same. So these shoes right here, I guess you can see them. There's about four, no, five pairs of all morel, all morel shoes in really good condition. This is like, I guess you'd call it like a sneaker mule. It says eight dollars, but I paid half price for all these, so I only paid four. Brand new, like Nike sole, looking. I mean, Nike Air looking soles, and a little zipper on the front. I don't know. I like morel for hiking and I really like the Vibram soles on anything. Vibram's, Vibram makes great soles. I've known that for a while because they last. I had a pair of Columbia hiking boots once with Vibram soles. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had Vibram soles? I think so. You got that little yellow thing right there. But all these are like brand new. So I paid, I think I paid $15 for these. And um, I got two more pairs. This is like a Mary Jane type pair. Something Steph would like to wear. <laughs> right so ugly you don't like them no. this is like a suede not too exciting but i always go with the vibram soles and the morels i like them um you wouldn't wear mary janes i don't like those at all no why <laughs> i don't like any of these shoes you don't like what about these ones these are pretty nice looking like where when would you wear those i don't know they're waterproof too. That's another thing that makes them good. Although if you live in a warm area, like I've got waterproof shoes before and your feet will sweat if it's hot out mm. and you're like, if it's like not winter or fall or spring. Yeah. Well, I guess it worked for us when we were up North, but down here I try to wear them not working. Um, I shouldn't have bought these. These are disaster. Yeah. They're a mess. There's some kind of like snakeskin boot or something. They were only four dollars, but they're like chipping and everything. I don't know. Some of these go for like hundreds. So I guess I got excited when I saw them and I was like, oh, I've never had a pair of these before. And then I got home and realized how crappy they really were. But I'm going to try to sell them. We'll see what happens. You know, there's really no way to clean them. They've got some scuffs and tears. So not one of my better purchases, but I'll blame it on the wisdom teeth. I'm a little foggy headed. Um, today's the first day I'm actually starting to feel like I can talk without being too sore. So I thought it would be a good day to do this. Um, also at the yard sales, these are kind of cool. These sell for like 40 bucks. It's called the Carbot. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it. I've never seen it. Supposedly you can connect it to a, a smartphone and drive the little car around using your smartphone. Let's see? So I was thinking, we're, we're thinking of getting back into Amazon because we're doing like a private label thing. It's not even really private label. It's like a product that we created. Yeah. Um, we're not going to tell anybody what it is yet because it hasn't come out. But since we're signing up for the Amazon account, this is something that's, you know, packaged. I can probably sell in, uh, send into Amazon. And then this little thing is kind of cool too. It's like a model of a GSX R motorcycle. Brand new. I kind of want to make this. No. No. It's cool. I used to have a Kawasaki, not a Suzuki, but that was in my younger stupid days. Um, I'm not stupid anymore and I'm not young. 
This is, these actually have sold really well for us. This is not sealed. It's like a, this is a 93 Firebird, so I don't know how well it's gonna sell, but I opened it up and it's got all the parts in it. But I've sold some of these for like 30 or $40, especially the sealed ones. You can get like 40 or 50. I got one at a thrift store one time. I think it was like a 57 or a 55 Chevy Bel Air. And I paid $2.95 and I sold it for like 50 bucks within a couple weeks. You remember that? No. It was like this. It looked like this, but it was sealed. But I guess people love these things to make the models. I used to do this when I was a kid. Did you ever do one? No. I guess it's not really a grill activity, usually. Um, but it's just got like, you know, the little plastic chassis here. Mm. Yeah, it's fun. Maybe we can do this as a project. No. <laughs> um, we need to think of more projects too. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot going on around here. We just moved into this house, well, a year and a half ago, but we haven't done a lot of projects. Like the roof needs to get done. What else? Um, major stuff. Major stuff, yeah. Um, I got two more of these. Sirius satellite radios. These were 250 each. It's an older model, the Stratus 6, but they still go for like 20, 25, 30 bucks. I don't know where the, I don't know why. Lately I've been getting these everywhere. Yeah, it's weird. This is like the fifth and sixth one this month, maybe. And they're all gone. Yeah, they sold pretty quickly. Yeah, the two that I got last week sold within a week, and then I go out and I get these this weekend. And I'm just like, I don't understand why. Everybody's got these in their original boxes and they're not using them. That would make you think that people don't want them. Right, and then they sell. But people are still buying them, yeah, so it's confusing, but they're selling. I got this J.R. Tolkien. It's um the complete Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, Fellowship of the Rings, Two Towers. It's not, I don't know, it doesn't look like the original one. The original one, I call it original, I don't really know who or what publisher put it out, but it's like gold and like yellow. Remember that? We sold one at Christmas in like mint condition for like, was it 30? 30, 40 dollars, but you can get them cheap. Even if people have read them, everybody wants these things. Anything J.R. Tolkien sells. I think we sold another one too recently. We, well, we, we what sold was the that? first one to someone we know. <laughs> oh, right, because she saw it on um, the website but recently I had like um, it was a bigger one it was a special edition of something one it was one of these and that sold but I noticed that like the first night that I put anything with Tolkien's name on it up hundreds of views hmm. people will be messaging me so I just took a I took a uh, chance on these it says Del Rey fantasy so I don't know if it's like a cheesy kind of like no-name company but we'll see for a dollar for J.R. Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien. I think it's worth it. Um, And I got this really cool King Kong poster here for a dollar. So that's gonna go up on the wall. Steph hates that for some reason. No, I don't hate it, I just don't. You're not very impressed. Well, there's not a lot of wall space in here, <clears throat> so when you're buying things to put on the walls in here, it's kind of strange. I don't know, I think well, there's a good oh, amount like of wall space. In the corner. <laughs> yeah, we've got some good wall space right there. Um, we're having an issue lately with space. Do you want to talk about that? No. No? We just don't, we don't have a very big house and there's a lot of stuff that we need to sell for eBay and it's very difficult to manage it all, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's like, um, there's just, I keep coming home with stuff and we're doing pretty good. We're just about at a hundred listings. I did about 15 today and we started, I think at 85. So we're right around 100 and we still have a box full of clothing right there. And um, all this stuff that I just showed you hasn't even been listed yet. So probably another 30 or 40 items to list. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the week, we should be at 150. And like that sounds cool and everything, but we're constantly bringing things in here yeah. and listing them. And then the piles of stuff that's already been listed is like getting bigger and bigger. And um, we don't know where to put it. Yeah, we don't have anywhere to put it. So we're buying bins, you know, we're shoving things in closets and stacking things. We have a barn, but the barn is like a half a mile away. It's you have to like so go through two gates, through the yard. It's probably like six acres away. Or maybe even... Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. It's like on the complete opposite corner. It could be like nine probably. acres away. It's far. And an acre is about the size of a football field. So what we do is we tend to like pile things up and get like five or six boxes and then we'll load up the Jeep and drive it out there and put everything out there. And then that's great. And everything's out there. Inevitably, 
As soon as you get onto the house, it'll be like, sold. Yeah, oh, one where, thing. Where is it? Oh, it's I think in it's bin. in the barn. <laughs> just in right. The barn. And then it starts pouring and like thundering, and it's like, we have to go now. Yeah. And it happens all the time. <laughs> we could have this thing in the house for like six months. Yeah. We decide to clean. Sold. Sold. Actually, we should just start doing that. We should right. put everything in the just barn. Put it all in the barn and it'll all be sold. Yeah. So, like, we have the barn. It's just, it's, I don't know. We got to build, like, a shed or something. You know, this is yeah. a guest room. This is where her brother Joe, he works here on the farm. He basically works here to pay his rent here. This was his room. <clears throat> he moved out, out into a trailer that he bought recently, and then we got this room. So this is the eBay room now, but it's small. I would show you around, but I'm kind of embarrassed. I got this Under Armour tank top for a dollar, so I think that'll sell. And I got these cool, um, these are like heat gear boxers with the tag still on them for a dollar. And it says 25 bucks. So I can probably get 25 bucks for free shipping, maybe 20. Um, some other cool clothes. I'm not going to show you all the clothes. It's like Under Armour and stuff like that. Everybody knows Under Armour sells. I got these at a thrift store a while back for, I want to say I paid like $3 for these. It's Nike, they're Nike golf spikes. Brand new. Never been worn. And they're my size. So I'm not too scared that they won't sell because I'll just use them if we ever get back into golfing again, know, right? which we might. Um, they have the box, all the tags are still on them, and I've had these listed on eBay for a long time. Yeah. They're not selling, but I think that was back when we were taking like crappy pictures. We were just putting things on the counter. You know, I think I took the picture on the kitchen counter, so I'm hoping now that we have like a little bit of a nicer setup and some lights and everything, I'm going to try to sell these. That's why I brought them back in the house. I brought these back in from the barn this afternoon, so... We'll give it a shot. We also um, sold a couple things today. Sales have been really slow, but we're not gonna get discouraged. I think it's the July 4th holiday. This is BMW, a BMW grill. Actually, I think it goes like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have this the car that these go on. I have a BMW, so I know what these things are worth. And I paid $3 for this trim. And this is another thing but it sat for a long time and it finally just sold for like 20 bucks um, last night. So we got to package that up and then we sold one more thing today. I don't remember what it was. Oh, we sold a pair of those soccer cleats that I got last okay. week. They were kind of like this, um, F50 tunits, and those sold for 40. I took an offer. I had them up for like 50, I think, and I took 40 on that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. We didn't really get too much this week. It's been a slow week, and with the wisdom teeth and everything, we've just kind of been hanging low. It's also really hot outside. It's like 100 degrees outside here. And it's the 4th of July. Today is the 4th of July. It's Independence Day. Independence Day, and we haven't done anything because we don't have any friends here in Florida. <laughs> we literally don't have any friends here or family. We, Nobody. That's okay. That's our choice. We decided to move <laughs> as far as possible away from all of our loved ones. Because it's nice here. It's hot. Yeah. So what are we going to do today? Maybe go down to the city, um, the center? Yeah. They're having like a little duck race where they throw a bunch of little plastic ducks in the river. You can buy a duck and then um, the one that wins, wins $1,500. Yeah. So we might go into that. That's going to be our crazy night on the 4th of July. <laughs> We're going to get crazy. Yeah. We probably won't make it, to be honest, though. We always talk about these things. Yeah, that's go. at 5 p.m. So it's... Getting pretty late. <laughs> Since we go to bed at like 8 or 9 usually. Um, we go to bed pretty early for some reason. I, well, we get up early to let the goats out and all that yeah. stuff. And I go to work, so. Um, really looking forward to not going, having to go to work anymore and just doing this all day. But I guess the organization is something that I really want to start working on soon. Because there's just stuff everywhere. It's like caving in on us. Mm -hmm. And that's not going to be good when I start coming home with like 100 items a week or something. We'll it's gonna get out of control garage. quick yeah i guess we're gonna have to spend more money so i guess that's about it not a very exciting video but i assume most people are out drinking right now and having barbecues anyway so but you can't even eat any hamburgers or hot dogs though. i know i've been eating all squishy stuff it's been horrible eggs yogurt maybe i'll try tonight <laughs> what i don't know 
you hate like squishy food <laughs> yeah that's like my number one thing i hate too <laughs> it's been hell it's been a crappy crappy week no but i'm making pizza for dinner so yep so that'll be good pizza and beer or wine whatever we have so that's about it i guess um there's nothing else to show you so it's tuesday i'm hoping this week i have the whole week off so i'm just gonna list everything i'm going out yard selling friday and i'm going out yard selling saturday so we're going to get a bunch of stuff. It's going to be awesome. Steph, I'd like you to go one day. If you could maybe find it in your heart to accompany your <laughs> husband. That'd be great. I'll think about it. All right. Any <laughs> any final comments before we go? Nope. Nope. All right. Matt and Steph signing off. Have a great fourth.